Hey guys, Dan here from DanceTube.tv, and today I'm checking out Player Unknown's Battlegrounds on mobile devices. This is insane, guys. This is available on iOS and Android devices. It's running off Unreal Engine 4, and it's absolutely free to download on both Android and iOS. This is amazing that we have 100 players battling it out on a mobile device in real time with voice chat and pretty much everything that you'd expect from the game on a mobile device. Obviously, it's lacking textures, it's lacking that graphical depth that you would expect from previous versions, but it's on a mobile freaking device. <laughs> This is honestly unbelievable that this is running on a mobile device. I was playing this on the iPhone 7 Plus, just so you know when you're watching the video, that's what you can expect on an iPhone 7 Plus. Now you do see a lot of graphical popping, you see a lot of issues with frames dropping and textures popping in and out, but I was kind of expecting that. It's not really a game changer, it doesn't ruin the game necessarily. The fact that this is a portable PUBG on the go is honestly breathtaking. A hundred players parachute onto a remote 8x8km island and the play area slowly shrinks into a tiny little compact play area that causes mayhem in some amazing locations. Honestly, the map is breathtaking and there's so much to explore. You also have all of the weapons and vehicles that you can expect from PUBG, so you really do have the whole experience on the go. You have realistic sounds, you have voice chat as well, which actually works really well. You can play solo, duo, or in teams. And honestly, it's fantastic what they've done here. It's a free game on the go, and it's basically the entire game just shrunk down, they've changed the texture slightly, they've dialed the graphics down a touch and the game seems to run quite well. I would like to see some performance improvements to see it running a little bit better, but I was honestly impressed with also the connection as well. I could switch apps to reply to a text and come back and I'd still be in the same spot. I could even quit out of the app and it would ask me if I wanted to resume the game that I just left and it worked instantly. I jumped back straight into the same spot I was in, no issues, I was still alive amazingly enough and it's really well done for a mobile game. I was really impressed with this HD audio that they've crammed into the game. You have high quality audio with 3D sound effects and 7.1 channel surround sound. So you can actually hear people walking around you. It really creates a immersive experience where you have to take each step carefully and really assess the building that you're about to loot or the area that you're about to stumble across because Sound is a really big thing in this game, and they've done a really good job on such a small port here. Um, I was also really impressed with the draw distance. When you're just exploring normally on foot, everything is amazing. The time that you do notice things starting to peel away is when you parachute in, the draw distance pops all over the place and it looks like there's no texture on the map. And then all of a sudden all these buildings will pop up. And you'll also notice that when you're in a vehicle as well, there's a lot of popping there. And the vehicles do actually handle quite well. Um, I got a few kills with the vehicle, which actually worked out really well. Um, but overall, there's a lot of graphical popping, and it does kind of ruin the game a little bit when you're in a fast-paced vehicle. I'm sure that kind of performance can be improved in the future, though. Now, one of the most important aspects of a game like this is the controls, and everything is running off a touchscreen. So there are a lot of little buttons at the bottom of the screen, and overall, it actually works really well. My overall experience was pleasant. I really enjoyed the controls. One thing I did love was the locked sprinting, so you could actually drag up and you could lock the sprinting, so that allowed you to look around or tap on the map or do other things without having to worry about your character stopping or having to worry about going prone or crouched. Um, so that was actually really well done, um, but a few buttons did get in the way, so the crosshair button when you actually look down the crosshair that or the iron sight, that actually became a little bit annoying. I noticed myself tapping that a few times. And also next to the movement stick on the left, you occasionally tap the shoot button, which becomes a little bit annoying as well. You're trying to slowly sneak through a house and boom, you accidentally shoot something. That's just, 
yeah, it's not really that cool. But I mean, that could also be me just being a bit of a doofus. It's just one of those things you really need to get used to with a touchscreen device. Overall though, the controls are pretty awesome. Jumping works well, crouching, prone, uh, swapping between weapons works well, and especially going through your backpack and adding on items to your gear or to your weapons, that actually works really well with a touchscreen interface. That was actually done exquisitely well, and overall the touchscreen controls are just really easy to get used to. At the end of the day, everyone is playing on a touchscreen device, so that kind of difficulty is kind of across the board. You can see that other people are struggling to shoot you. There have been a few firefights where we both just can't kill the other person. That would not happen on PC or console. You would just get destroyed instantly. But the fact that we're versing other people on mobile devices, it seems to even the playing field, which is really awesome. They've also ensured us that there is fair gaming environment, so this game has been armed with powerful anti-cheating mechanisms and it's optimized for many devices just to ensure that everyone is on an even playing field. Honestly, PUBG Mobile is a marvel of gaming excellence right now. This is amazing that they've created something so diverse, so in-depth and so extremely portable for anyone on Android or iOS. The fact that we can pick this up, voice chat with friends, play with people around the world and have a hundred players in total on a massive 8x8 kilometer map, versing each other with different weapons and vehicles and varying textures and visual cues and beautiful audio. This is honestly amazing and I'm really impressed guys. So definitely check it out. I'd love to know what you think in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching though. Make sure to have a splendid day and peace out.